A lot of families, the holiday season just is not complete without tamales. And it seems some of the best tamales in the entire Southwest can be found right here in our own backyard in this small, beautiful little town of Somerton. So, so much so there's a festival surrounding That's it. Right. So we are introducing you to a multiple time winner of the Tamale Festival in Somerton. Lydia Flores is now famous tamales are known lovingly by their nickname Chromies for the way that she wraps them in chrome style foil. So Gibby and Ian, have a look. Yeah, as we get ready to celebrate the 17th annual Tamale Festival down in Somerton, I have to introduce you to a woman that I love so much because uh, we basically grew up with her, almost like a second mom, third mom, whatever you want to call it. As a matter of fact, uh, my little brother Ray, best friends with her son Robert. I grew up with her son George. Some Went history. to school with Ian. So Ian, this is Lydia right here. As a matter of fact, if you're from Yuma, you Lydia. also know knew her as Cha-Cha the Clown. See the face painting back there? Oh my gosh, you are a woman of many, many talents. Thank you so I'm much fine. for uh, inviting us into your home. I, I want to let you know something. You want to come see Lydia, you want to make her happy, you hand her a coat. The thing she loves you, you know the other thing she loves rippled potato chips oh I has didn't... some every day that those are cravings that's a little something okay. about Lydia you need to know I here. didn't bring any is that okay well, well I don't you, know about the chips, I forgot the chips yes. so here, here's what we're gonna do see tamales I know what you're thinking you're looking down at these you're saying wait a minute there's yeah, no corn husk yeah, what there. Is up? but these are chromies. chromies as a matter of fact show them the back of the shirt Lydia <laughs> I love chromie this. for the homies right there <laughs> that's amazing. what an amazing thing I've how do you See, you guys can say you've had a chromie today. We, yeah, we're going to try one right now. I'm gonna, we're going to have to show Ian what they're all about. How'd you come up with chromie, Lydia? Well, I, it was about 50-some years ago. My father was making tamales, and he ran out of corn husk. So he thought, well, I'm going to use foil and, and cut them. And he cut them, and now they sell them in the box, and it's much cheaper than the corn husk. And, and right now, I remember buying a bag of corn husk like fourteen dollars for a bag. So you could get a box of of those some aluminum were nine dollars at Smart and Final. And you were telling me and you make forty five dozen with each box. The, the chrome or the foil chrome. it solves the biggest problem with tamales. Yes. And what is that? The biggest problem also is it's they're so easy to spread, and then also you bake them. I bake them. I don't steam them. I bake them for one hour. I can do eight eight to ten dozen in one hour. And they're not dry. They're they are not dry. dry. As a matter of fact, show Ian Let me here how to open up one of these. As a matter of fact, she makes so different flavors. Okay. This one's the green chili beef. She also has a green chili chicken. But uh, the best part is, is it's so different. When people look at them, they're like, hold on a second. How is that a tamale? And the thing is, Lydia, it has all the flavors of the tamale. It oh, has all in there. Okay, and there's some we secrets go, we're then. not going to let them know no, either. Do not. Oh, it is soft. This is I not dry. It's never dry. Oh They're God. always oh, moist. They're really good. Harder. This is a beef and that's a chicken, I think. Right. So you be the judge. And there's rice to go with it. It's like rice. melting in my mouth. You, you got to have the rice to go with it, though. Woo! You got to have the rice. Try some rice oh, in there, up, Ian. Girl. You got to go in. You have your Coke. The best part oh, yes. is Lydia won the Tamale Festival several times. So she is a past winner. And that's why people look for these. As a matter of fact, the last time she took over 300 dozen, what? they were so gone. Bad. Sold out wow. of all the tamales. So that's, see, that's some stiff competition. So you know that if they are going to have a competition here and be at the Tamale Fest and you want to be part of Somerton, Lydia's not, she's letting everybody else win this year. She's wanting <laughs> up already. She's like, you know what? I'm going to let somebody else win this time, Ian. So how are they, Ian? I, I really do not have time to talk because I need to be eating this. this is well, no, you eat. That's what you're here for. So, oh Lydia, thank you so much for spending oh, yeah. time with us. A chromie for the homies. Oh, my gosh. Much this love. Is, if you don't know what the these are, uh, you better be in the know. Them, so. <laughs> okay, we got to get to work. We got to get to work. Pull up a seat, brother. We got to work. Don't want to make Lydia mad. All right, here we go.